Hi there, I'm Sandy Alnock, artist and Bible journaler, and I want to share with you a rather special verse today from Colossians chapter 3. Whatever you do, work heartily as for the Lord and not for men. And that has been my mantra for the last year or so as I've been working on a book called Bible Journaling Made Simple. I'm excited to finally be able to share it with you because it's finally on Amazon and Barnes and Noble. I was waiting until it was before I went and started screaming from the mountaintops that I am now going to be an author. And I'm very, very thrilled. And I thought it would be appropriate to put the text from the cover inside my Bible opposite that verse. So I'm just going to watercolor over top of the text there. The, um, the book itself, Bible Journaling Made Simple, has a lot of information in it. It has 21, I think, tutorials, maybe more than that when you count mini tutorials in that. It has a hundred pieces of art. I actually count them up and there's a hundred pieces of art, most of which have never been seen before. And the ones that have been seen before, only a few sneak peeks here and there on the website that I just finished, which I'll talk about in a moment. So it's brand new art that will hopefully inspire and um, uplift you. And there's lots of information in there about not only how to do the artwork, how to think through the artwork, but you can also use the book with your group and, and set up some kind of a Bible study around it if you wish. There's also, as of this spring, going to be a second book. And that is going to be a workbook. And it's going to be printed in black and white. And it reflects a lot of the content from the main book into the workbook. So it, say if there's an, a particular image shown in a tutorial, I have three spreads on three different ways you can use that image in your Bible journaling just different ways to lay it out on the page. And some of it is in verbal prompts and giving you scripture verses and questions to ask yourself and just journal about your faith and write about your faith. Lots of blank spaces that you're just gonna be able to practice your art before you transfer that then into your Bible. So it's gonna be a great resource. Both of these books can be used independently, of course. They don't need to have each other, but they are going to be great friends as well. And I can't wait to be able to share more with you about the specifics of both books as I get more information and I get some actual peeks at the content and how it's being laid out because all I've seen is what I've done and I'm waiting for more information from the publisher. The published date, the actual date when you're going to be able to buy it and have it shipped to you is October 23rd. So we've got quite a ways to go as we're sitting here in April of 2018. So in October, the main book will be available, and in November, the workbook will be available because we didn't come up with that idea until later, so we're running a little behind on that one, but we're going to try to get it out there as quickly as possible. If you have a church bookstore at your church, it would be great if you could have them carry it and help to get the word out about the book. There's also opportunities to have me come out and speak. If you have a conference or something that you'd like to have a conference speaker at, I'd be happy to come out for that or for Bible journaling retreats. Lots of things I want to do to be able to share the gift of Bible journaling with more people. And to do all of that, there is a website that I have put together, BibleJournalingMadeSimple.com. How's <laughs> that for a not exciting and not unique name for a website? But on that site, I'm particularly excited because now I have a place where I can actually put all of my Bible journaling content. I've been trying not to overwhelm my blog with it, but I've been collecting it all there. So not only is there some basic information about the book and where you can buy it, of course, but there are galleries in there. There's a gallery of my Bible journaling art. There's a gallery of my sketches and there's a gallery of my videos. All three are sortable. So if you just want to go see anything on animals, what animals have I drawn and what animals are there sketches available for, you can sort it by that. You can sort the Bible journaling pages by watercolor or pencil. You can sort them by what kind of Bible, lots of different, different things that can hopefully help you to get inspired. There's also buyer's guides for both buying journaling Bibles as well as buying the art supplies and where I get my stuff and what kind, what brands, etc. And lots more information on, on getting those and I'll be adding to that as I discover new and different things as well. So the website is going to give me lots of opportunities to share things. You can go to the website to get on the email list and get a monthly update on anything else that's going on. 
And you can also join my Bible Journaling Made Simple Facebook group, which is what I transferred my last Facebook group where we were doing a Bible journaling challenge. We've transferred that into being the book uh, Facebook page. So please join us on that. Links to everything are in the description down below. But I am so excited to finally be able to tell everybody about this. Uh, please share with your Bible journaling friends that this is coming because I'm very, very thrilled about it and thrilled to start setting up some events to come out and speak about it. I've got a couple already on the website, and I hope that I will get to come and see you and your church at some point. Take care and have a really wonderful day. Go out and evangelize for the Word of God, and I will see you guys later. God bless you. Bye-bye.